Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with another event video. As uh, we always do on this channel, I attended early November the Bayonet Military Model Competition with the Mecca Workshop Club visiting the B-24 Liberator at uh, Werribee under the uh, host and um, very generous Bayonet Military Modeling Club. As always, it was a lot of fun. It's great to see the progress and how far the actual Liberator bomber is going. Uh, they let us uh, inside to have a look and it's absolutely interesting and fascinating with the air tanks, the uh, looming of the wire and all sorts of other fine small detail. You just don't appreciate until you can climb into a um, military vehicle such as that. The event, the decor, competition, swap and sell, all of that was the same as usual in previous years. But as always, the fun has gotten more interesting and intense with more involvement from the uh, Mecca Workshop Club. We hired three to four tables along the uh, very back of the hall, uh, promoting and selling the SMS brand of uh, paint and uh, lacquer products. A swap sell table for our backlog and unwanted items among the entirety of the club including myself uh, hawking off some interesting goods and two tables to sit build enjoy and uh, socialize there was an open uh, hangar door at the very back so we had a bit of a breeze could go for a smoke outside absolutely ideal lovely uh, weekend the site is uh, fairly out of the way and the crowd was quite small. Everything was a charity to fundraise money for the restoration of this uh, aircraft and other projects in the organisation. They had a lovely uh, sausage sizzle outside, quite delicious, dollar a sausage, can't complain. The swap and sell had a lot of uh, very old, interesting uh, subjects covering all sorts of tastes for all sorts of individuals including a few Gundam kits and whatnot. Uh, the whole video will showcase what I got at the uh, very end, as well as uh, selling off quite a bit of my own wares. Uh, there was a small uh, display from uh, the Bayonet Club, as well as another group uh, in the hall. And the competi competition table was absolutely uh, jam-packed of high-quality, very interesting entries to look at. Some we've seen before at Model Expo, a lot that we have not seen yet. Also, if you want to see more of these photos in detail or to take your time flipping through, check out the link down below in the description section. It'll take you to Facebook and the uh, gallery of uh, all the pictures I've taken, some that may not be involved in this uh, video, but I'm sure it's uh, all there. When the competition concluded, I was uh, very fortunate to uh, come out in the competitive category of uh, fantasy. That include all the science fiction, Gundam, uh, wargaming, figurative stuff at uh, third. With the uh, heavily weathered um, Gundam Origins early type gun tank. And in the figure category, with my new garage kit, some of you guys may or may not recognise, scored a second place, which are uh, very, very pleased with those two results. The event was very, very laid back, very friendly, mostly free of uh, controversies, didn't hear any complaints or saw any bad sportsmanship. The judging seemed quite fair in the uh, competition, and it was just a lot of fun um, had by all Highly uh, recommended to check out if uh, you happen to be in town, city, country, or whatnot. This is my whole component of the video from Bayonet. Things that I bought from their very awesome swap and sell, and I've always picked up excellent stuff every year without fail. Uh, first for $10, the Tequila Gunner from um, the Cutter very very old I've been after this for a very long time not too sure about the source material though it's absolutely crazy I've uh, I've been after this for uh, years but never found it at a uh, price that I've seen suitable uh, funnily enough um, this item is actually almost the same size and mass as a Star Wars at at Imperial Walker not as intimidating looking though. 
Uh, Challenger by Matchbox. Anything Matchbox I'll get. Very rare, very old, very sought after. So uh, very happy to have uh, gotten my hands on that. Churchill. Um, some sort of specialty bridge version or whatnot. I don't know. Um, if it was any other brand, I probably would not have gotten it. Only for the sake of it being a matchbox. That will make for an awesome video. Uh, the Pegasus E25. I was going to buy it, but since I've got some of the weirder Pegasus rel um, variants, I've always uh, put it aside not to buy because it's always been a bit expensive and um, always found something more important to buy. Uh, that was less than half price, so that was an absolute excellent purchase. Type 74 uh, Japanese main battle tank from the Cold War. The strange scale of 188 with a little uh, motor um, in it. This is one of those very uh, typical $2 shop toys. It's advertised at 100 yen. So that is absolutely awesome. A resin World War II German low heavy tank. I was looking at uh, getting it that, but $20, $30 was always a definite um, hell no. Um, I actually got an even further discount on that because I bought a couple of things from the uh, same guy, so he dropped it to uh, 10. And I've uh, got this A9 tank with uh, the multiple turrets. So that was very nice. Both excellent casts. They will come together in absolute uh, no time. As I always buy um, every year as a charity piece. I have a piece of uh, sheet metal and uh, this uh, actually came off a B24 Liberator so that's an original uh, piece of its armor and it's very interesting makes for a great gift so you can see that how thin and um, weak it is so you could imagine that um, up there people sitting in one of those flying how many um, High in the air is absolutely insane. I've <coughs> also bought $100 worth of SMS paints, especially the Super Silver, some of the clear, some of the new colours, uh, a wash and more liquid mask. I almost exhausted the uh, liquid mask from um, the last few projects I've done, especially that uh, resin kit. I liked it that much. I've uh, bought another bottle and I almost completely lost an actual 70 second um, Lynx German uh, tank. It's almost like a Panzer II or Panzer III but made near the end of the war. I believe it's a popular World of Tanks game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further uh, details. Check out the Facebook link down below for uh, photos of Bayonet, extra things, all the usual uh, social media stuff in the description part of the video. Leave a comment if you have a question, always happy to answer that and all that jazz. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys next time. And you got to admit, this was a pretty awesome haul. See ya.